It's time to fire this thing up. Well, you'll notice, John, on my 50-foot scarab, I've never put any bottom paint on it. Why don't you select any fallen paint? Well, if you put two boats together and, and one's been not bottom painted and kept out of the water and one is bottom painted, you'll find that the, the value of the boat is, is better on the non-bottom painted boat. Well, good deal you made it. Hi, I'm John Braviscus, and this is George Massell. And George is the owner of this 1989 50-foot scarab. And what's the model on this scarab? It's a Meteor. Okay. It's powered by three... Three Yanmar. Diesel. Diesel Yanmar. Okay, yeah. and this is a stern drive boat. Yeah, it's an inboard outboard boat. Is, is there a downside to keeping uh, your stern drives constantly in salt water? Oh, a big downside. There's a lot of corrosion, a lot of electrolysis, and a lot of maintenance if you leave it in the water. So preferably you want an IO boat to be out of the water. Well, today's topic here at Shipshape TV is going to be centered around the boat lift. And man, do we have an exciting program. We're gonna learn about the different types of boat lifts that are available, whether you live in a canal or you have shallow water, uh, what size boat you might have. We're gonna even build one at a factory and then we're gonna be doing an installation. And if you guys are into tools, today's program is going to be very, very exciting. And in fact, here's just the sampling. The tool shed's still open, so stick around. Ship Shape TV will be back in a flash. Discover the Deco difference. Highly engineered boat lifts that won't hamper your view. Stronger, better built with the finest materials. Deco boat lifts. Lifts boats with ease. Faster than others that's sure to please. Craftsmanship, longevity. Deco boat lifts, lifts boats with ease. Zero backlashing, five decades strong, all at the best prices. Deco boat lifts, lifts boats with ease. Welcome back. This is a real working 28 acre boat yard slash boat building facility residing in Stewart, Florida. It's Shipshape TV's home base. Ideally located, the complex is situated on the shores of the Okeechobee Waterway, which happens to connect the Atlantic Ocean to the Gulf of Mexico. Now once again, here's the founder and host of Shipshape TV, John Graviscus. Thanks, Buck. We're talking about boat lifts today here at Shipshape TV, and we again have the privilege of having George Massal on the program, and George is one of the owners out here at Deco Boat Lift. And I was doing my research, George, and you're one of the oldest boat lift companies in the nation. And, yes. and you've also invented a tremendous amount of innovation into boat lifts, and I want to talk about that today a little bit on the program. Sure. But let's not kind of keep everybody at home out of this thing. We're actually going to be installing a lift today on the program. Yes. And I know that's going to be down in St. Petersburg, right? Yeah, we're going well, down. What, what size lift are we putting in? We're going to put a 6,000 pound cradle lift in, a deco cradle lift, down in St. Petersburg Beach. Now, cradle lift is one of the most popular boat lifts. You're, you're probably very, very familiar with the cradle lift. And, and you make a lot of different weight capacity lifts, ranging from what size to what size? Yeah, they, they range from 6,000 pounds up to 40,000 pounds. And so as, as boats go, that could be from a a small 16, 18 foot boat, all the way up to a 45 or 50 foot boat, depending on the configuration of the boat. I live on a canal. There are a lot of people that have their boats at their house on a canal. What should somebody with tight space restrictions, what might they want to consider if that's kind of their world? Yeah, if you're in a tight space and the, the distance between land, one shoreline to the next is tight, then you're gonna to need to use something like a, an elevator lift. Okay. That, that elevator lift is attached right to your seawall, okay. and it keeps the boat nice, nice and tight to the uh, to the property. And and literally, like an elevator, it just kind of raises the boat up out of the water, and also takes it out of the canal. It does. It picks it up out of the water, runs it through a, a track, 
and that track picks it up and brings it all the way to deck height. Deco has come up with a lot of innovations over the years in boat lifts, and I know that you invented something for the waterfront homeowner that really didn't want their view obstructed by a boat lift. And I know you have an example back here on the board. What, what do you call that lift? We called it a beamless lift. The okay. beams are, 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 have gone away. There's a, a gearbox and a motor on each corner, and here it is with a, uh, a, a cigarette on it. Here it is with a yellow fin. And the lift itself blends into the dock and into the boat. So you don't really see that big beam anymore. Now, one of the things I really learned about when I was doing my research is drives on boat lifts are so important because basically what happens is, is some drives make a lot of noise. Some drives are slow. Some drives are very smooth and, and they're very fast. And, and you have a very fast, very smooth drive and this is the casing right here. Well, why is this so special? And you've, you've had this for a while, you invented it. Yeah. Why is this so special? Well, the, the Deco all aluminum gearbox is a worm gear reduction. It's in an oil bath. It's fast, it's quiet, and it's very low maintenance. Okay, so the housing is aluminum, yes. but the actual gear is very strong bronze. But one of the inherent problems with a boat lift is, is when you drop it down and it hits the bottom, it hits the seafloor, okay? A lot of these other lifts, the, the cables backlash, and people get into real problems, and they go to tighten them up, and they cross over, the cables become weak, they can snap, they can break. You, again, have invented something to totally put everybody's mind at ease. It works like a champ, <laughs> and, and it's right over here. It's, it's called the CRS, and what is that, George? Yeah, our cable retention system, which we developed and patented uh, five or six years ago, and we found it to be uh, very helpful in shallow areas where the cradle hits the ground a lot and the cables become uh, unwound. Right, you don't get the back. You don't get, you don't get that. KTV will be back in a flash. Discover the Deco difference. Highly engineered boat lifts that won't hamper your view. Stronger, better built with the finest material. Deco boat lifts. Lifts boats with ease. Faster than others. That's sure to please. Craftsmanship, longevity. Deco boat lifts. Lifts boats with ease. See the full line. Find your town's finest marine contractor. Deco boat John, what we're looking at here is a 13,000 pound Deco lift. This is Rich Massal, and he is the president of Deco Boat Lifts, and we're now in Safety Harbor, Florida. And this is the assembly area. You have many Correct. plants here Correct. in town. And, you know, Rich, I've looked at a lot of boat lifts over my life, and I'm noticing that your main beams are not I beams. I've seen a lot of these as aluminum I beams. Why is it a box type of construction? Sure. Well, we've always used a box construction because a box essentially is structural in two directions, both this way as well as this way. Where I-beam, on the other hand, is very structural this way, but has almost no strength this way at all and is prone to twisting. So an I-beam can twist, this cannot. Correct. All right. Now, you literally use all raw materials in the construction of the boat lifts. Correct. What type of aluminum are you using and how does that hold up in a salt water environment? We use essentially uh, an aircraft aluminum, 6061T6, and it's really designed for a salt water environment. Take me through some of the components. Well, this end here, first off, the lift is upside down right now. Uh, it's, being okay. it's being assembled upside down. We flip it over and sit it on the pilings. This is a six piling lift and the piling, one of the pilings sits right here. Um, Do you bolt through this hip yeah, end? That's a very important feature. We have a very positive connection. We've got two holes here. We actually through bolt right to the pole. You don't lag connection. in, you through bolt. That's correct. I'm not really familiar with this type of cut groove. What, sure. What's this all about? Well, this area here is where the cable wraps uh, that lifts the boat. And this is uh, it, it's called our cable retention system, which is a patented item here at Deco. We have um, 
essentially got a deep groove winder that the cable rides in. The winder is a quarter inch deep with 5 16 cable that sticks up slightly over the winder. We put a plastic retaining clip over the top. So the cable can't come out of the groove. So the can cable can't come out of the groove, that's correct. Does, does, what happens if a cable, I've seen that, what happens on a lift if a cable crosses another cable? Well, that's the importance of having a cable management system, is we don't want that to happen because when you crush the bottom cable, it begins to fray. When it frays, it gets a little weaker, a little weaker until it fails. Okay, have you ever seen a boat on a boat lift where it has failed? It's a pretty scary situation. No question about okay. it. Okay, now, okay, so this is for six pilings. How, how heavy of a boat would go on this particular lift? Well, this is a 13,000 pound lift, and the size boat is roughly a 30 to 32 foot cabin cruiser. I've done my research, and it's my understanding that you are the only boat lift company that actually manufactures their own gearbox. And, and what's that all about? How, how is sure. that important? Well, we actually manufacture this from raw materials. This is a bronze worm reduction gear um, in an aluminum housing with stainless steel hardware. There, it's continuously lubed, it's, and there's nothing to rust. It's maintenance free. Don't some gearboxes, aren't they you, you know, because you could get into a free spooling situation. Don't they use like brakes and stuff like that? Some, uh, some people will use brakes, but when you use a worm reduction gear such as this, it's self-locking. So it can't free spool? Correct. This is a 13,000 pound lift. You, you make them for small, what, jet skis? Correct. All the way up to what size boat? So we started a 1,500 pound PWC lift, and we go all the way up to a 40,000 pound 45 foot yacht lift. How much more are you price-wise kind of out in the marketplace? Where, where do you well, stack up? We have to be competitive, okay? So our, our lifts are competitive or actually better priced than almost all of our competition. Now there are, as you add additional features, you can increase the cost of the lift, but the basic lift is, is cheaper than the competition. So this is a custom lift, but you have standard lifts. And yes. if somebody home wanted to do more research on Deco, how do they get you? We have a fabulous website, decoboatlift.com. And we have an 800 number on there. We have three salesmen in the office all the time. We're readily available to talk. Well, thank you so much for the look around. This place thank is you, awesome, John. man. Thank you. Sure. Discover the Deco difference. Highly engineered boat lifts that won't hamper your view. Stronger, better built with the finest materials. Deco boat lifts. Lifts boats with ease. Faster than others that's sure to please. Craftsmanship, longevity. Zero backlashing, five decades strong, all at the best prices. And what you see here, John, is the top beam of a deco boat lift being lowered down on top of the pylon. Hey, well, welcome back. We have changed locations on you yet again. We're now in St. Pete Beach. Florida, and we again have George Massal on the program, one of the owners at Deco Boat Lifts. And George, we've been kind of witnessing some of the construction involved in the 6,000 pound lift. And this is a condominium development. And George, I'm noticing when I walk down the dock, I'm seeing a lot of the slips here at the condo that have a Deco Boat Lift, one after another after another. And I know a lot of times with condominiums, the the owner actually will own a slip and, and they can opt for a boat lift. And my question here is once they do have kind of decided what boat lift to have, all right, are they working directly with the factory or do you have a team of top-notch marine contractors? <laughs> we do, we have a great team of contractors all over the world, especially here in St. Pete Beach. Okay, who is the local one? The local contractor here in St. Pete Beach is Advanced Marine Construction. Okay, so the permitting, all right, they. They, they call you guys, you set them up with one of your marine contractors, yes. and they have somebody in their department that kind of does all the permitting for you. And this is a condo, so, th so that person would have to, what, come out and take some measurements and uh, come up with a rendering, get it submitted to a condo association. But they might have to get through a city with a permit, a county, they might have to do the state depending on the state. Or the DEP and Army Corps of Engineers. Okay. The, 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 the Marine contractor handles all that for the customer. It's all taken care yes, of. Yes, absolutely. Okay. So I've been watching how this lift kind of comes together and they start off with a barge. 
and they, they bring in these pilings, these wood beams, okay? Our, our sea floor is sand. How do they get them secure down into that sea bottom? Well, they'll, they'll start jetting them down in the position that they need to. They've, they've pre-designated a position. The, they'll jet them down into the ground with a long jet pipe. Right. Then they'll, they'll pull the pipe up and put a hammer on top of them, and they'll hammer that piling down to what we call refusal. At refusal, they won't have any settling or sinking in the, in the future with that lift. I also noticed that they kind of top the pilings. Uh, they measure about six feet up and they cut it with a chainsaw. They do. And, and when you were seeing that beam getting lowered onto two of those pilings, okay, they're, they're, they're level, but the advantage of having a beam on top of a piling rather than just screwed into it or bolted into it is there's, a, you know, it takes all the weight. It distributes the weight. And if you have compact sand, it can't sink. Okay, that's, yeah. that's a really secure way to kind of build these things. It is, very secure. And with it through bolted, that really gives it a good, good locking grip. Now I noticed back at the factory that you kind of pre-assemble everything, the cabling and the cradle and everything else, and you load them up onto trailers and you have a team of trucks. I mean, you're shipping these things out all over the country, all over the world Absolutely. and everything else. But when it arrives here, who, who does the wiring? Is that the marine contractor or do they have a licensed electrician come in and actually do all the wiring? No, after these guys are done with the installation, they'll have an electrician come in and hardwire that lift to the dock. Discover the Deco difference. Highly engineered boat lifts that won't hamper your view. Stronger, better built with the finest materials. Deco boat lifts. Lifts boats with these. Faster than others that's sure to please. Craftsmanship, longevity. Deco boat lifts. Lifts boats with these. See the full line. Find your town's finest marine contractor. Deco boat lifts. Lifts boats with ease. That's right, our project today is pretty much complete, which means we're now back on the water with John. George, this entire marina is filled with deco boat lifts. Are, are, are a lot of marinas switching over from wet slips to slips with boat lifts in them? They're, they're more and more popular now. I know that homeowners are very excited about the option of having a boat lift. Apparently condos are kind of getting into this. Now marinas are doing it. What's the advantage for the marina? Well, the advantage for the marina is it becomes more popular. The, uh, the, if, a, if you don't have a home on the water and you want to keep your boat at the water, you need to get a, a boat slip with a boat lift in it. That okay. way you get all the advantages. Could you pan over there? Take a look at that pontoon boat. Notice that the, that the pontoons are not bottom painted. It's on a lift, okay? And I think that is fantastic. Well, George, we need to thank you, man. You spent a lot of time with us out here on the water. Thank you so much for being on the program. We also need to thank your brother, Rich. And we had everybody at Deco Boat Lifts helping us out today. We had advanced marine construction. Thank you guys, our electricians, the guys that helped us out with the tips. But my friend, our time is all but used up. But, but one last time, we have just a little bit left. How do people get a hold of you guys? DecoBoatLift.com. We gotta go. Discover the deco difference. Highly engineered boat lifts that won't hamper your view. Stronger, better built with the finest materials. Deco boat lifts. Lifts boats with these. Faster than others that's sure to please. Craftsmanship, longevity. Deco boat lifts. Lifts boats with ease. Zero backlashing, five decades strong, all at the best prices. Deco boat.